Hey y'all, it's Monique. Now let's get to what you're here for. First, you're gonna do is you're gonna go to file. And when you go to file, you're going to hit merge or new project. And you're gonna open up the file that you are trying to print and cut. When you open up your file to try to print and cut, you're gonna go over here to this paper. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to select the 12 by 12 mat size, the mat size. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to select the paper size that you would like to print on. So I'm gonna be printing on a, the regular letter size paper. And um, what you're gonna do also is you're gonna go, my registration marks is already on. In order to cut the registration marks on, you would go to this icon here and then you would hit on. The purpose of the registration marks is so that when you put it on into the silhouette machine, it reads this black square here and these there is going to be a black line here you can barely see it because of the um the line the red line um try to zoom in a little bit there we go so they're going to have a black line here and a black line here it's going to read these registration marks and it's going to let them let the machine know where it needs to cut my image already has a white border around it so if you would like to put a white border around your image what you're going to do is you're going to select the image and then you're going to go here this is the star this is going to let you do an offset so if i do the offset right now see and then you can color it by adding color add to whatever color this will help you distinguish what color paper you're going to be using if you're going to be doing layers so if i was doing a pink layer this would be the pink layer and then if i offset again then this would be if i was doing what silver let's see i would do it great you see what i'm saying so let's back out of here back out of here it's, it does take a minute in the silhouette program to back out let's back out so my image is already offset now if you would like to do the internal offset what you're going to do is you're going to click here and then it's going to you see how it shows the line in the inside um it's not showing perfect shape of the actual dog because i already have a white border on it but some people like don't like to do the white border and they would like to do an um internal offset so some people don't like to do the white border so what it's going to do is it's going to cut in the it's going to show the red line in the inside of the dog so that way the machine or be able to cut it correctly when you pull an image in here sometimes when you just print it i'm sorry when you just try to cut it with no offset of white on the outside of it it's not going to print the Im it's not going to cut the image correctly it's going to be all off maybe a more white to be here and all that so the internal offset helps put the red line registration marks to cut in the inside so that way you won't have any uneven white offsets if that makes sense um so i'm gonna get rid of this so i'm gonna hit cancel so like i said mine's is already on here now all right so before you go to, before i bring y'all to the machine i forgot all about this part because my, my shit was already printed my bad y'all so i hit you hit file and then you go to print and then when you go to print you're going to hit print again and then it's going to bring now this is how mine is set up i don't know if everybody else's will look the, the same i have the the silhouette cameo 4 so i don't know if everybody else's settings and everything gonna show up like mine but this is how mine show up um this is my printer that i have right here and then i hit preferences when i go to preferences i have already have my options saved and in order for you to do new options you can go here and change the image options and do and hit okay and then and it'll give you the option right here to add um your own settings for that so for photo i have i go to my photo paper settings and then um i have it on portrait and then when you hit okay and then you hit print again it's gonna print the image itself now what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit send so when i go to send i already have all my papers already organized to where my blade depth the passes, the force, and the speed is already set. So all I have to do is click on what I have already set. Let me show you how to do that. So if you want to set your paper settings, automatically you will go to new material. And then you will click whatever machine it is. And then you will make sure you title it. Um, 
when it goes to the new material, you will title it, and then you will select your force, your speed, your passes, and everything. And then once you finish, you will hit save as. So I don't need to do this part because I already have it done. So for my regular photo paper, I have the blade depth. The blade depth is how deep the blade goes into the paper. So for this specific paper, I have my blade at 6. Because it don't need to be deeper. I mean, because when you go past six, it's like you doing glitter card stock paper. I have it doing one pass because it only needs one pass. The force, I have it at uh, 25. And the speed is at 21. When you go to do glitter card stock or whatever, you'll put the speed lower because it's glitter card stock. And it has to maneuver around the glitter. And you don't want that cutting off fast because then that's, that'll mess you up. So I have my settings already set and I'm going to hear. Now, if you do an offset, let me show you where you go for the offset. So say I do an offset. And this is for people who already don't have my already have the white border. This is for the people who don't have the border around and want to add a border. This will be my offset here and I will go here and hit white. So now when I send it, I'm not going to be doing simple. I'm going to be doing fill. And when I do fill... I am, this is the layer of the dog itself with the white layer already, with the white border already on it. I will click off of that. And then it's going to show, I don't know if you see, but you see how thin it is now. And then when you click this one, it thickens. Then that's when you make sure you select your photo paper and make sure it matches here. And then it's going to cut where you set your offset at. And then if I was to do a third layer and say I do a pink, then pink will be here and I will do the same thing, etc., etc. So that's how you will cut it if you're doing an offset on the registration marks so I'm gonna go back to um, design and I'm gonna take the offset off I told you I take like a minute for the changes to go back all right there we go so now I'm gonna hit send and then I'm gonna hit simple I already selected my paper my Everything, all my settings is where it needs to be at to cut this specific type of paper. And then I am going to hit send. And when you hit send, it's letting me know that I need to load it up. So um, I'm going to switch to my camera so that way I'll be able to show y'all. Y'all, So I'm going to try to show y'all how this works. So this is my 12 by 12 mat. And what you want to do, you want to set it up to put it in a corner where your arrow is facing. And I use tape on my, I hate working with a sticky mat. It's aggravating to me, so I don't use a sticky mat. I just use a mat that I've used multiple times and I put the tape on it. <clears throat> and if I need to use tape, then I use a, a laminated sheet. And I, not the ones that you heat up, but the ones that come self-laminated. And then I stick it on the back wherever the image is at. And I cut a little piece out just so it can stick and won't move. But um, this is how I put it on my mat. And then now we're going to bring it to the machine. Now this part right here is very critical on how you place it in the machine. So what you're going to do is you're going to make sure. See that line right there? Come on, focus. Focus. It won't focus for y'all. Y'all, okay, you see that line right here? This line right here? You want to make sure the mat is touching the line. Not over the line, not where the arrow's at, not way over here. You want to make sure the mat is touching the line when you put it on. See? Touching the line, okay? And so when you have it touching the line, what you want to do is you want to hit your up arrow. And it's gonna bring it in there see all right now now I'm gonna go ahead on a hit send now what you're gonna see it doing is you're gonna see it reading the registration marks you want to make sure it reads the registration marks perfectly and your lighting in your room have to be bright enough for it to read or it will not cut or read the registration marks correctly. Now you're making sure it end up where the black square is at. You see that? It's ended up where the black square is at. This is the cutter right here. It's on top of the black square. Now I was gonna cut.
and now it's done. I'm just gonna spit it out. And then all I have to do is, bam, there it is. Cut perfectly. If y'all like this video and y'all find this helpful, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, please list it in the comments. Thank you. Bye.